Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is the story of Nina and Matthias from the show Shadow and Bone. This is requested by a ToddReacts.com member. You two can join. Link down below in the description will get you there. Go like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately. You can come check it out and let's go. Be silent. So you're taking us to Fiada? To our death. We face trial as our law demands. How many Greeks that are found innocent at your so-called trial? Oh, the big bad Skella! <laughs> Good question. Five on one! For such honor! How noble! I thought you respected your women. You are not a woman. You are Grisha. Do not speak to me again. You want something from me? I do want something from you. Answers. Were you born a witch or was that by choice? Were you born a prick or was it a choice? What did they teach you? Aside from the fact that they were evil and should be burned at the stake? That you kill us every chance you get. Because you want all Grisha dead. Why am I even arguing with you? You're not here to change your mind on anything. Only to make yourself feel better about sending me to my death. I feel nothing about you. Well, I guess that makes you good at your job. You want to eat. I'd rather starve than be a traitor. You don't have to tell me anything. Just take it. I will not take scraps from the likes of you. Damn. You will. If it gets back, kill the captives. So, they are due to stand trial. So? Thanks. Come on, you miserable lump of muscle! Wake up! It's a very Titanic moment. Was my power keeping you warm, Skella? Get far out here without it. You intend to kill me? If I wanted you to, I would have slowed your heart instead of speeding it up. Why would you save me? Because you're human. And despite what you've been taught, Grisha, I'm not monsters. You'll be the nice strength to swim to shore. And you need my power not to freeze to death. I can't swim and keep both our bodies warm. I'll swim. You. Joe Willing, in my homeland. For the saints sake. Put your clothes back on. Your wet clothes will be the death of you. I'm fine. Are all the so brutish? Are all bruges so immodest? I'm just trying to stay warm. Are you scared? <laughs> She's right. I'm not afraid of you. Ah, uh, no. What clothes lower your clothes. body temperature? Oh. Closer. Would you stop your feeling? Oh, you're cold and clammy. It's like lying next to a burly squid. You told me to get closer. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, God, relax. I promise not to ravish you. I, I hate the, the way you talk. called Body Heat. Relax. This isn't where I have my way with you. I can't wait to be back in my own bed. Yeah, I can feel just how much you hate sleeping next to me. You're so rude. It's unseemly. Women in Fierda are modest and pious. Oh, so you speak for all Fjordan girls? Fjordan women are caretakers. You fear the men are their protectors. That sounds like a recipe for a very unhappy people. We are very happy people. And Ravka? We don't waste time on maidenly blushing. Hmm. It's not natural for girls to fight. No, 
know, it's not natural for someone to be as stupid as he is tall, and yet... Don't you think so? I can't wait till you get tranced by a girl. God. And if my wishes came true... That's in this lifetime. I'll do it myself if I have to. In my defense, I have not... Saints, I didn't know you could laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you so afraid will happen? That's it, isn't it? You're afraid you might start to like me. You don't want to like Agrisha. You're scared that if you dream, you do laugh at my jokes or answer my questions, you might start to think that I'm human. On your own. I do you like it. Woman on the internet Is that so bad? Yes. Why? Because you are horrible. The room warned us about how we were making it charming Rouget could be. <laughs> how do I know? You're not messing with the quite the line. You're making me feel like I like you. Oh, I see. I, guess you never I do like you. I guess you said it. Because you're horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> oh my god, Paul. Cool. I said that with a Roaring twenties. I'm beguiling you. Stop it. No. <laughs> this is strenuous work. The mighty Fjordan has fallen. With it. <laughs> you are powerless to resist me. <laughs> oh, damn. Matthias. Hello. Nina Zedek. Yeah. Well, we just needed a little bit of trauma, you know. It was gonna end. If we were the fair time, I pushed him to do it. Help kill me. I will go north and do it. No. It's not yet. I am not going to do it. There must be a place where we're not just Grisha and Driscella. Beyond Ravka, beyond fear. The place where we're just Nina Zenik, Matthias Helvo. If I go, I could never go back to Fjorda. I would be court martialed as a deserter. I'd be branded a traitor to all Grisha. But thank you for saving me. You did the same for me. And if we stayed together, I doubt it would be the last time. Oh, the Wandering Isle. They are infernally happy. Yeah, you know, you'll come to like being happy. I will keep you warm. <laughs> oh. I oh. can't wait to introduce you to my truest love. Is this supposed to be sweet or savory? Yes. He's with me. Your heart is pounding. Is it for him? For the enemy? He's changed. They don't change. Slaver! This man is a slaver who has taken me to be sold. Will you testify in court? I'll testify, yes. Take me with you to Ketterdam. You. Tyus? Joke all along. This was to save your life. They would have killed you. Trust me. Please. You broke my trust. Oh my god. Link down below in the description for the original video. Go throw out some love. Wow, that was really entertaining. <laughs> I got hooked into that real quick. Nothing like having a Titanic moment to bring two people together floating on the big wooden door. I'd say she eventually wore him down and broke through. But uh, unfortunately, towards the end there, he's a little blinded by the fact that he's in prison, but he doesn't quite realize just how close he was to not being alive. I don't know exactly what was happening there. So obviously there's some conflict between Fjordians and Gratians, I think I remember. I think those are two words. Let me know down below in the comments a little bit of context around those because I have no idea. Obviously they hate each other or 
the Fjordians think the Gratians are witches or something. He actually brought up a really good point. How would he know that he isn't under a spell that she just put him under so that he lowers his defenses and actually starts to like her? I guess he'll never truly know until he just believes in the fact that she's not doing it. Adorable. That was part one of two, so I'm expecting a bit more, a bit more of the story. Maybe we see her break him out of prison or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but it's going to be interesting. Something tells me the trial won't exactly be fair, and uh, something else is going to have to happen to get him out. What's funny is that moment when they were under what looked like bear skin or something like that. It reminded me of. It reminded me of the boat scene in Wonder Woman. In the beginning-ish part of that movie, when Steve and Diana first meet, and they're on the boat, and they cuddle up because it's cold or whatever, and they're talking about all sorts of stuff. <laughs> it's just awkward. It's weird, but uh, it was very adorable. Gosh, I really liked that movie. I've seen it multiple times, Wonder Woman. 1984 was not great. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. It was not. How do you have an 80s movie with no 80s soundtrack? What is that? How can you do that? Was the thought process the music costs too much? It was the thought process that if you do recognizable music, it'll just take people out of the movie completely. Not exactly sure of the thinking there, but it just seemed odd. That was one of the things that made Grand Theft Auto Vice City such an interesting and fun video game is the fact that it was full of awesome 80s music. You just flip through the radio stations and hear different hits, even including Michael Jackson. They had a Michael Jackson song on there. Now, when they did the re-release for the complete collection, they actually got rid of most of that music because it was expensive as hell. The original is just unbelievable. That soundtrack was just hit after hit after hit. Great to see a little bit more of Shadow and Bone instead of just The Crows, which I love The Crows at this point. It's like an interesting storyline. But uh, it's good to see a bit more of the actual show where the writers were taking the main plot line, I guess. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. ToddReacts.com for requesting your own videos, merch, and you can check out the full library of full episode reactions. I'll throw up a list real quick that you can pause and check out. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. I will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Thank <music> you.